हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल इन ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज ऑन माइक्रो कंट्रोल पेरीफेरल एंड इंटरफेसिंग आई फैसिलेटर प्रियंका दिस आई गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एक्सटर्नल इंटरप्ट टू इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट एक्सटर्नल इंटरप्ट वॉट इज मीन बाय एन एक्सटर्नल इंटरप्ट हाउ टू लोड द रजिस्टर विच आर रिलेटेड टू द एक्सटर्नल इंटरप्ट एंड इंटरपर्स एस पोलिंग ऑल्सो वी डिस्कस what is the isr and how the isr get executed this is all about the interrupt but if i ask a question that what do you mean by an interrupt then interrupt is an event which interrupts the normal program execution in simple words if you are playing a game on your mobile at the same time a call is coming then what happens first a game is paused and then call is served that means here the game is your normal program which is interrupted by call that is interrupt is nothing but a call this is actually how the interrupt works then if i ask how many sources are available in the 8051 then there are five sources available that are external interrupt 0 external interrupt 1 timer 0 overflow timer 1 overflow and serial interrupt out of which external interrupt 0 and external interrupt 1 these two interrupts are the hardware controlled interrupts which are controlled by hardware and timer 0 overflow timer 1 overflow and serial interrupt which is nothing but the software interrupts which are controlled through programming this is all about the theory but how we get to know how it actually works for that here one we have circuit diagram for the our understanding the circuit shows the external interrupt connection whereas switch one is connected to int 0 pin that is external interrupt 0 p3.2 and switch two is connected to int 1 that is nothing but p3.3 and led d1 d2 d3 are connected to p1.0 p1.1 and p1.2 respectively switch 1 controls the status of d1 whereas switch 2 controls the status of d2 this is the circuit diagram for the external interrupt 0 and 1 now if you ask then how to program this external interrupt then here we return a program for the external interrupt 0 and 1 in this program we declared three leds as an outputs and i wrote a function of delay of 1 second in order to toggle the led of 1 second here also two inter service routine are written which is written in this format void isr ex0 void interrupt 0 which is nothing but external interrupt 0 which toggles the led 0 by delay of 1 second and void isr ex1 void interrupt 2 which is nothing but the external interrupt 1 which toggles the led 1 by delay of 1 second and here we have the main program where we write led 0 is equal to 0 led 1 is equal to 0 and led 2 is equal to 0 by writing zero we make these pins as output pins and in order to make the interrupts h triggered we have to write it0 is equal to 1 and it1 is equal to 1 to enable the interrupts we have to write ex0 is equal to 1 and ex1 is equal to 1 after that we return ea is equal to 1 that is nothing but the global interrupt enable if we are not right e is equal to 1 then even though we return ex0 is equal to 1 and ex1 is equal to 1 none of the program is get executed that means none of the interrupt service routines are executed for execution of interrupt service routine we have to write e is equal to 1 and in while one we write led2 is equal to inverted led2 that means we toggle the p1.2 pin this is the program for the external interrupt now see how this external interrupt get 
executed on protease simulation. If we play this simulation, then here we can see D3 is continuously blinking. That means D3 is continuously toggling. And if we press the switch 1, then D1 is get toggle just like that. And if we press switch 2, then D2 is get toggled. This is how actually the external interrupt works. Now let us see how the timer 0 used as an interrupt. For that we have the circuit diagram timer as an interrupt. As I said earlier timer is a software controlled interrupt therefore there is no circuitry for generate and hardware signal. Here only we connect oscilloscope to the P1.0 and let us see how to write the program for the external interrupt. For that we have the program timer as an interrupt. In this program we write pulse P1.0 is nothing but the output pin. In order to initialize the timer, we return T mod is equal to 0 x 0 2 that means timer 0 in mode 2 which is nothing but the auto reload mode. In order to make 184 microsecond delay, we have to write TL0 and TL0 with the value of 0 x A4 by considering the 12 megahertz frequency. In order to enable the interrupt, we have to write E is equal to 1 to make the interrupts enable and in order to enable the timer 0 interrupt we have to write the ET0 is equal to 1. In order to run the timer we have to return TR0 is equal to 1 which is in the TCON register and here it is the ISR for the timer 0 in which we toggle or we invert the status of the pulse and after that we make TF0 is equal to 0 and TR0 is equal to 0. Again we reload the timer value in order to avoid false triggering and made TR0 equal to 1. In the main program we initialize the timer and whenever we initialize the timer the TR0 is equal to 1 is executed. When TR0 is equal to 1 and timer 0 starts counting, when it overflows then TF0 becomes equal to 1. When TF0 becomes equal to 1, it con the control goes to the ISR routine where we get pulse is equal to inverted pulse. And after that we have to return TF0 is equal to 0 that is why we write TF0 is equal to 0 and in order to again run the timer at the last of the ISR we return TR0 is equal to 1 then this is the program for the timer 0. Now we see how this timer 0 is get executed then for that we have the protest simulation. Here we can see the pulses are generated. Let us see again. If I play this interrupt then we get the number of pulses which is of 184 microsecond. Here timer 0 is used as an interrupt. This is all about an interrupt. If you have any query and any suggestion then please give us it on walchan.elisa at gmail.com and please like us on www.facebook.com slash wcselisa. Thank you.